I made an Iron Man account that cannot interact with any updates released after August 10, 2007, the date Old School RuneScape is based on, with the goal of achieving max total level and obtaining every items from the original 2007 collection log. And after that, we'll see what other challenges awaits me. Welcome to 2007 Log. Well, here I am in the Champions Guild, doing something I thought I wasn't gonna do until 99 Slayer. And it is starting the Dragon Slayer quest. So by doing this quest, I'm unlocking the ability to get dragons as slur task, which is what I wanted to avoid until 99 Slayer. But I'm thinking I'm just losing out on too much by not doing it, so here it is. Alright, well, I believe after he give me a dragon fire shield here, I will be able to get dragon as a slur task. So here it is, the Dragon Slayer Quest. I don't get any level, but if I trade him now, I can get a green Dragonite body, which is an upgrade to my Snakehide body. And here it is, the Hero Quest. 62 defense, nice. And now I can come here and buy a nice Dragon Battle Axe. Here it is, the Dragon Battle Axe, an unlimited Super Strength Potion. Very nice. And also I can come down here, I can come to this fountain and charge my glories. Alright, so I just completed a rune doku here because I needed to unlock this shop to buy some soul runes. It's the only way I can get some. Alright, so I'm finishing the legend quest here. I'm able to get some experience and a few skills, so I'll get it in herb lore. Level 50. Let's just pause it here for a moment. I was confused here because I felt like I received more experience than I was supposed to. And that's because the Legend Quest is one of the 5 original quests from 2007 that received a buff to its XP reward. In 2007, the quest gave 7.6k experience in 4 skills of your choice, so 30k experience total, and could all be used in the same skill. However, the quest now gives 4 time 30k experience, resulting in 120k experience in the skill of your choice. By choosing Herblore once, I got 30k experience, which would have been the total XP reward of the quest in 2007. But I want to finish this quest, so I need to talk to this guy again and get 30k experience 3 more times. So what I decided to do is get the remaining 90k experience in woodcutting, because I feel like that is the skill where it has the less impact on my account. It only saves me about 2.5 hours of woodcutting, and as woodcutting is a skill that I'm going to train way beyond 99. So with that said, let's get that experience in woodcutting. So woodcutting once, and woodcutting twice, and a third time. And here it is, the Legend Quest. 132 tiers this week. 7 to 48, room crafting. Very nice. So by finishing the Legend Quest, I can now save this guy here, and that's the last one I need to save for Recep of Disaster. But to save him, I need some sweet corn. So let's wait for them to grow. I'll just do something else in the meantime. So let's work on my house a little bit. I need some teak planks. So I want to get the layout of my house right the first time. That's because in 2007, this option here, the viewer, did not exist. So in the main game, this allows you to move um, rooms around whenever you want. But in 2007, if you wanted to move a, a room, you couldn't. You had to go and remove it and then build it back where you want it. So that can be expensive and time consuming. So I want to make sure I set my house correctly the first time. Let's remove this one. Here I will make a chapelle. And then next to the chapelle, I want a trophy room. So then I can come here and put a nice amulet of glory. So that's extremely nice. It's an unlimited teleport here, so I don't need to charge them, especially that I just have three. So while I'm here, I'm just going to go and build a teak altar. So that's going to be useful to recharge my prayer. And in the future, I'll make a gilded altar here, and my glory will be right next to it for banking. Just a quick fact about 2007, it's not a big deal, but there was no way to go into your settings and have your doors always open in your POH. So for me, when I go in, they're always going to be closed and I'll need to open them myself. So here's the Chone of Miss Sanenya's quest. So that's a really useful quest here. It's going to help me a lot on my way to 99 fire making, smithing, and herb lord. I do need a lot of money to set it up, so I'll wait. I won't be able to set it up now. I'll go into more detail into the future, but it's going to be extremely useful. Alright, so the sweet corns are ready. I can do my quest. 
So here it is, the last part of Recipe for Disaster. Awesome. So there's just one final thing I gotta do, and it's the boss fight for the Barrow's Gloves. So there should be dragons here now, but that's way too expensive because I am going to buy Barrow's in the moment. Well, I was all set to get my gloves, but then I realized that before doing the boss fight, I need to complete a desert treasure quest, so I guess that's the next one on my list. Here is the desert treasure quest, a really nice quest to complete. 62 magic, access to ancient magic now, and I can get my Barrow's Glove. Here it is, the Recipe for Disaster quest. Get a nice XP lane, I think that's 20,000 experience. So level 50 to level 52. Very nice. Can all make super energies. So I can come here now and buy some nice Barrow's Gloves. Awesome. Look at that. I really wasn't expecting to get that anytime soon. I was thinking uh, of not getting them before a 99 Slayer. So it's really nice to have them already. Starting to look really good here. I got them at level 82 combat, so not bad. Quick update on woodcutting, level 96. Just to give a little update on the U logs, I'm up to 46,000. So that's a lot more than the 80,000 I said a while ago for 85 fletching, and it's because I've decided to bank 99 fletching with U logs. So I did some math and new long bows are a lot quicker. From 85 fletching, I would need to cut either 65,000 new logs or 53,000 magic logs. It would take me around 326 hours to cut that amount of new logs or 534 hours to cut these magic logs. And then I need to pick flax, string bowstrings, and fetch the bows. So here on the screen is the amount of time all of these tasks would take. So at the end, even though I need to fetch less bows and pick less bowstrings, and you would see that I would still save 175 hours by going with the U-Logs. Okay, so Tears of Gothic is going to start to be a problem again soon because I want the experience to go either in runecrafting or herb lore, but I got some skills like prayer, construction, and smithing that are getting pretty close to the same level. So let's go and get all of these skills between level 55 to 60 to be good for a few weeks. For prayer, it's nice because I got those 425 baby dragon bones from Dragon Impling. So I'm going to use them at the Ectofungus. I didn't think I was going to use the Ectofungus again, but I guess I will. Hopefully this will get me in the mid-50s for prayer. That should be all the bucket of slimes I need. And my bones are in the bucket. And let's get some prayer XP. Alright, so that's my last bones here. Got to level 53 prayer, so that's pretty decent. Now let's go and get some construction XP. Here's 50 construction. So with 50 construction, I want to hire a demon butler. So let's get my house ready for him. So here I'm going to make a garden. And here another garden. And all that to put my bedroom here. So one for the butler. And a second one here. So to have a butler, I need two bedroom and two beds. So let's make one here, and a second one. Clear your own house loads faster when they are smaller. The best case scenario really is a 3x3, tree tree. but for me I will need more rooms for portal rooms and stuff, so I will do a 3x4. I believe this will load faster also. And for the method I'm going to use to train construction, I also need a dining room. Let's build this bell. Alright, so that's my house for now. Um, I'm not going to build any portal room for now because they're 100k each and I'm going to be running low on cash if I buy some. Well, Demon Butler, you're hired. Alright, so I'm just here cutting some oak logs. So this is going to be how I'm going to be getting level 55 construction and also eventually level 99. So oak trees are right here in Remington. My house is here. If I go into my house, I can run to my bell. I can ring it. But to his ears, I could have just clicked on it, but if he wasn't, I can just ring it, he will come to me. And I can ask him to bring my logs to the sawmill. And then I leave, so he's gonna put them into plank and into my bank. And I'm just gonna repeat this process, banking thousands of old planks. And also, I wasn't sure if that was actually a possibility to make planks with the butler in 2007. 
but I looked into it and actually found a post in Tippit from 2006 from someone using this exact method. So um, yeah, I guess it existed since the beginning of the construction skill. There's one thing that I wasn't able to find though, and it is if these settings here existed. So I can come here and say call servant and he appears right there and he brings the, the logs from, for me at the bank while at the sawmill. I can't find any proof that this existed in 2007, so I'm still looking here. If not, I'll just run here every time. Oh no, I'll need to teleport him, bought me my planks, and I'll use the bell. It's not a big deal if that's it. So that's all the oak planks I need, and that's good because I'm running low on cash here. Here it is, 55 construction. So that's done. But um, only 55k left, so I'm pretty down on money. I had a million not too long ago. Okay, so for smithing, I won't be able to train it to 55 now because the two way I want to train it now uh, requires some money. And I'm no longer going to be mining coal like I used to. So that's fine, I'll just leave it aside for now. But for farming at least, I do have some seeds. So let's get a few farming levels. Alright, so here's the last three of my first farm runner in a while. Level 52. Alright, so I got a little problem, like I said a few clips ago, I'm pretty low on cash again. So my focus is mostly going to be on um, making some money, but first let's just do a few quests really quick. And here's the Tibu Wanai Trio quest. So now that I'm done with this quest, I want to do a bit of the Karamja Diaries. So in 2007, all of those diaries did not exist except for the Karamja one, and the easy, medium, and hard did exist. The Elite just came out afterward. So I am allowed to do the two of those. I won't do hard right now because I need to um, do a bit of the fight cave. But I'll do at least the easy, if not maybe the medium now. Just a quick fact about 2007. In 2007, those uh, Karambwanji here were not stackable. So I'm not allowed to have them stacked like this. Uh, they would take one inventory slot per fish. And um, to fish Karambwans, you would need to get one of these here, Karambwan Vessel. Fill them up with a fish and get one karambwan out of it and then fill this thing up with one fish again and then get one karambwans. So it was really inconvenient so people were not really fishing karambwans back in the days. So that's why I'm not fishing them up to 99 fishing and banking 99 cooking. It was just not viable back then. The best way to get karambwans back then was actually to buy them from this shop here. With that said, here's a hard task. And here's another hard task. And here's all easy tasks completed. Alright, here's the Gout Tuber. So as some of you probably know, it can take quite a while to get one of these. But here it is. It took too long for myself. Alright, so here's the end of the Medium Diaries. Alright, so here's my Karamja Gloves 1 and Karamja Gloves 2. So they're not too useful really, I can buy stuff around Karamja for uh, a better price, I guess. But uh, for the easy and medium, the most useful thing are those XP lamp. So obviously I'm going to put them in Herb Lord, 1000 Herb Lord XP, and 5000 Herb Lord XP. Well I just realized that my fur making is quite low also, so it's going to give me some problem with um, Tears of Kitik soon, so I may as well burn a bit of logs. 55 58 Alright, well that's all the logs I had, almost 59 fire making. So here's my weekly tiers of critics, 138 tiers this week. 48 to 48 when crafting. <laughs> almost 49, so I'm not getting a level per week anymore, but it's still uh, really good. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end the video here guys, I think it's long enough by now. So as you see I'm entering the elf lane here and that's because it's gonna have a big part in my next video. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in two weeks.